Imagine the equation x cubed equals 8. And at first glance, the answer seems obvious. It's 2. But what if I told you that was wrong? In fact, there are two more solutions. But before we dive into the math, let's talk about cubics. The greatest power of x is 3 in a cubic, and 3 is odd. This means we can expect one real root and two real or complex roots if all the coefficients are real. So let's revisit our equation. Finding the real root is easy in this case because a is the same as two cubed. If we take the cube root of both sides and simplify, we get x equals two. However, to get the complex roots, we have to rewrite the cubic in a different form. From our previous answer, we know that x minus 2 equals 0. This means we should take x minus 2 as a common factor. But how do we exactly do this? Well, we know the second bracket must be a quadratic that multiplies with x minus 2 to give x cubed minus 8. We can expand the brackets and collect the like terms. For both sides to be equal, the coefficients of x squared and x must be 0. From this, we get a equals 1, b equals 2, and c equals 4. We can plug these values into the quadratic formula, or complete the square, to get the remaining two roots as negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3. Since the square root of negative 1 is i, we can write the answer in third form, which will lead us to the correct response for this question. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.